how do you hold a wine glass properly? Honestly, you can hold a wine glass however you want. I don't care, but I'm not everyone. So if you're at a special event where you wanna look like you know a thing or two about wine, hold your glass by the stem. I've seen it done a couple of ways and you'll pick up a style that you like best. Here are a couple to work with. Take your two fingers, your thumb and four fingers, and put your hand, the rest of your hand, under the base of the glass. Or I've even seen somebody make a fist and take their thumb and pinch the base of the glass like this. I like to hold my glass like this and if I'm feeling super fancy, I'll kick out my pinky. While we're talking blending in, swirling wine. Swirling wine actually helps release the aromas in the glass, which really does improve the flavor. So if you want to practice, put your glass down on the table and take your two fingers and just draw little circles on the table and you'll start swirling. When you get good, you'll be able to do it in the air. When you are drinking, try to pick one spot on the glass where you will drink for the rest of the night. This helps keep your glass cleaner and the aromas a lot fresher and you won't have lip marks all the way around the rim. If we're ever in a situation again where you'll be clinking glasses, don't go edge to edge, go bowl to bowl. Not only does it sound amazing, it's the strongest point on the glass to receive this kind of energy transfer and you won't be sharing germs. All right, I hope this helps you feel more confident being around wine and if you wanna get more information, maybe pick up a copy of Wine Folly, the Magnum Edition. This is an awesome book about wine and it's super fun because it's all visual. This is Madeline and until next time, peace out.